Hello! Welcome to some more Tesla news. This is Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip. And man, there's always something exciting going on. <laughs> so Tesla has been saying for years that you get a certain amount of free internet with the vehicle. They were saying like four years and they're saying eventually it's not gonna be free. Now they finally came out with a statement saying that in starting July 1st, that they're gonna have two tiers of internet connectivity inside the Teslas. So there's gonna be like your, your standard package, which are gonna do like na certain navigation and um, bug fixes and like things that you need right away over the air. Um, everything else for updates will come over Wi-Fi. If you wanna stream music, that'll be on Wi-Fi or you'll have to pay for the premium package. And the premium package will also include things like uh, real-time traffic data and stuff like that, as well as being able to stream music. Everybody who bought a car before July 1st will be grandfathered in. If you want a Tesla, use my code <laughs> below. and Get free unlimited supercharging. And if you order before the end of the month, you get apparently free uh, internet premium package or something like that. They didn't say how much the new package is gonna be. Um, they're assuming it, people are assuming it's going to be around a hundred dollars a year, which is, you know, like $12 a month or something, or $8 a month, something like that. Anyways, it's not going to be too expensive. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense that they can't give free mobile data to every car they've ever made forever. So at some point it does make sense that you're going to have to pay something for it. I think, you know, hundred dollars a year sounds pretty fair. And maybe this will allow them to do a hotspot because they said that the car could do a hotspot. And, you know, for $10 a month extra or whatever, that hotspot functionality would be pretty sweet. I'd, I might do that. I know you get it on your phone and everything, but it's just kind of handy to have that extra connectivity whenever you need it. So Elon tweeted out this cool little picture of autopilot development screen when somebody was joking about a Mad Max picture with a Tesla semi in it. And apparently in the development build, there's a blind spot threshold for the, the autopilot features. And there's a standard aggressive and then Mad Max level. <laughs> and then Elon was even joking that they're thinking about making it a higher level called LA traffic. So this is, this is the, the, the car when it's auto switching lanes. Uh, on autopilot in the future builds where it's going to decide, you know, well, how aggressive it's going to be if it's going to wait for either like, you know, three car lengths behind you before you switch lanes or two or one or none, apparently making people get out of the way once you start to go into the lane or something like that. It'll be interesting to see. It's one of the things they've, I've been reading about is that in self-driving cars, you can't program them to be 100% by the book on like how people are supposed to drive. You, they kind of have to drive more like how people actually drive or else you won't get to where you want to go. <laughs> so there's a certain level of, um, I don't know, I guess that's what the AI learning's for. They're trying to figure out how, you know, how best to have the car interact with the rest of traffic. But there's some really neat things in the screenshot where it's, it had the feature settings for autopilot. There's augmented vision, uh, lane visualizer, clip recording, a lot of stuff that's probably just in the development build that we're not gonna see. But it's cool to see that, you know, supposedly in August, we're gonna start seeing those full self-driving features start to pop up in builds. And it looks like this will be one of those things where it's gonna do the auto lane changing. Um, they've been promising it for over a year now. We're on the freeway it'll go on ramp to off ramp and change lanes as needed to get around slow traffic. So I think that's pretty cool. Finally seeing some really interesting development on autopilot. There was also um, a cool little picture that a hacker leaked showing how the Tesla autopilot sees the world. And it's, it's kind of neat. It just shows, you know, what's identifying as a stationary object, what's moving, um, things that are unknown, yellow identified as what stopped. And it's just kind of neat to, to see how it's identifying different things in traffic. Uh, other autopilot news, autopilot buddy 
attack to avoid mags get shut down by the NHTSA. So this was like a little, I don't even know if it even worked, but basically it was like a little weight clippy thing that you put on the steering wheel so that autopilot thinks your hands are on the wheel when they're not, which sounds crazy dangerous to me because if autopilot's trying to kill me <laughs> by swerving or one way or the other and it thinks my hands are actually on the wheel, uh, it would probably do such a thing. So yeah, this is not good. The nag, as it's called, is in there for a reason. Unfortunately, in the latest update, they increased it heavily. So now instead of being like every minute or two, it's checking to make sure your hands are on the wheel. It's now doing it about every 20 seconds, which has got a lot of people upset. And hopefully the next update, they're going to kind of relax that a little bit more, change it so it's a little um, more sensitive to detecting your hands on the wheel. Because right now you have to apply some kind of force. So it's like a torque sensor. So you got to make sure that your, your hands on like, for me, it's like on the bottom of the wheel. And when the car is trying to turn a little bit, it just senses a little bit of resistance. And then it, that's what it's using to detect that you have your hands on the wheel. Now, if you're just squeezing it, um, that actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just the fact that you're, you're kind of holding it in place as it's trying to move the wheel that it's detecting that there's some kind of resistance. Elon is changing what they're putting in the, uh, the message. Instead of saying hold wheel, they're going to say apply, apply pressure or torque or something like that. And I don't know. I haven't got the new update yet. Hopefully it's it's better than the current one. Although I haven't had too much of a problem with it. As long as you just hold the steering wheel, like by just hanging your hand on the bottom of it, it seems to work pretty good for me and not bug me about having to hold the wheel. Also in a new update, Tesla is gonna now let you limit the speed of your car. So this is kind of handy if you have somebody else driving your car and you don't want them to be able to go 155 miles an hour. You can tell it, oh, I only want you to go, you know, 70 miles an hour or something to that effect. It'll let you limit it anywhere between 50 and uh, 90 miles per hour. So you could limit your car to only go 50 miles an hour if you don't want anybody taking it out of town, which is kind of neat. So you could do this before with valet mode where you could limit the car to 70 miles per hour and power and acceleration were limited to 25%. It locked the glove box in the front and it's restricted access to personal information and vehicle settings, which is pretty cool for valet mode. So this is just kind of like another thing on top of that that you can do. Tesla Model 3 news. So the assembly inside the tent is way better and cheaper than the other lines is what Elon's saying. And it's funny because it's, it's really a, a sprung structure, which is like a permanent type of outdoor building that can be constructed very quickly. It's not necessarily really a tent, but this is what they're doing over there at the Fremont factory to really try and kick out 5,000 cars per week on the Model 3 lines. And it's interesting because there were some tweets about how Elon's been at the factory, he's been working 24 seven, trying to eliminate bottlenecks. And there's reports of people seeing him on the line, like tightening bolts and things. and. Elon's like, yeah, I like to help out. And he's, you know, trying to figure out the processes and where the bottlenecks are. He, he said he even considered doing an extended factory tour where it would allow people to go and help make a car, which is kind of, I don't know, I think that'd be kind of fun. I mean, it's not like free labor because I don't think you'd be doing a whole lot to really make it super productive, but it would just be kind of a neat experience, especially if, like, if I could take my son and he could do that. I think he'd really get a kick out of it. Uh, bad news about the production line is apparently it was getting sabotaged by an employee. So Elon sent out a letter. He didn't know who was doing it, I guess, at the time. And later they found out who was doing it. And he claims that he's a whistleblower and that there were some production issues on the line. And he wanted to let everybody know about it, these dangerous cars that are coming off the line. And Tesla says that there was no danger because those modular modules, battery modules, were not used in actual cars. And... It's getting kind of ugly. I guess they're suing each other. Uh, Tesla said that there was like a threat of uh, somebody coming in with a gun or something like that. It's just getting really crazy. Um, I, there's links in here if you want to read more about it. Uh, sounds like everything's okay. The lines are working good. There's no real threat at the Gigafactory from the police looking into it. Uh, yeah, so just kind of crazy news on the Model 3 production line. Good news is if you haven't seen a Model 3, you'll be able to soon because they're putting out 
uh, 17 more Model 3s in stores. So they've got them over in Denver, uh, Las Vegas, and they're, they're you know putting them out everywhere so you can actually go see them. Um, I've got my Model 3 here in Wyoming. If you're ever driving through and you want to come check it out, just uh, email me. I'm Patrick at wildwestev.com and you can check out the one here in the middle of Wyoming. <laughs> uh, I had people charging at my charging stations with Model 3s and leaving feedback on PlugShare. Thank you so much. So yeah, the Model 3s are getting out there and the VINs are up in the like 40,000 range right now. So yeah, that's, it's great. Um, the first Model 3 dual motor performances are rolling off the assembly lines right now. Tesla is stockpiling them apparently. They've got huge like parking lot full of Model 3s and they're delivering them as fast as they can before the end of the quarter. Uh, some people are speculating they're, they might actually be holding a few back until after the end of quarter to gain the tax credit that's happening in uh, the United States. So that's why there's a lot going to Canada right now. They want to make sure that everybody can get the full tax credit or as many people can get the full tax credit as possible. And last but not least, Tesla is putting out a new update for the Model 3 where it has summon, over heat protection for the cabin, and Wi-Fi. So this is finally allowing you to get your updates over Wi-Fi, which is great because we have horrible AT&T service here in the middle of Wyoming, so we never get the updates when they originally come out. They take forever, usually when we're traveling somewhere. And the summon feature, I mean, that's great. Like. It's been missing summon for a while, so it's going to be cool and fun to have both Teslas drive themselves around. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you like these videos, or even if you don't. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it so much, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, last thing is the trivia. So I've been giving away these Tesla Matchbox cars to anybody that can answer these little silly trivia questions. This is a simple one, but first one to put in the comments below gets it. Who makes the little toy Tesla that kids can drive around in? So, I mean, that one's really easy, but yeah. Let's uh, see who gets it first. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time.